So here we're standing at about 5,800 feet in elevation, just below Timberline Lodge on Mount Hood. And we have one of our highest elevation firs, or abies, which is our abies lassia carpa, or subalpine fir. So some of the key characteristics of our abies lassia carpa are in terms of the overall growth form, it can grow up to about 100 feet tall, and it typically has these spire-like or almost candle-like um, very narrow pyramids in terms of the overall growth form. The needles are characteristically upswept, so even though they're technically spiraled around the stem, they have an upswept appearance, and they have bands of stomatal bloom on both the upper surface of the needles and the lower surface of the needles. If we were to look at the underside, we would see that the way these needles attach to the stem, they lack that hockey stick bend that's characteristic of Abies procera. So this is a really interesting species. Um, it ranges from the Yukon and Alaska down through Oregon and actually across to the Rockies towards Arizona. It can range in elevation in Alaska, of course, at lower elevations, but in Arizona all the way up to 12,000 feet. Pretty impressive. Um, in some of the north central regions, the Abies lassia carpa actually produces very limited cones and primarily reproduces through layering in these regions. The cones are small. They're about two and a half to four inches in diameter. They are upright, which is characteristic of your Abies. So your Abies cones sit upright like little owls and they, they, will, they won't fall as a complete cone, unlike a lot of your pines and other conifers, but they will actually dehiss scale by scale. Um, on the Abies lassia carpa, those cones are typically, the female cones are typically purple, and they're usually clustered near the top of the tree, which allows those scales then to disperse pretty far from the parent tree. Um, the bracts are rounded and shorter than the scales. So again, the overall appearance of the tree is kind of like a church spire. <clears throat> the cones sit up like owls, and the needles are upswept with a neatly manicured appearance. So beyond its ecological importance, Abies lassia carpa has also been used medicinally. Um, both the pitch and the bark have been used by the interior people medicinally. And in fact, sometimes this tree is mistakenly called balsam fir, for that resin, when in fact Abies balsamia <clears throat> is actually found in the east. Another interesting characteristic for this species is that in some of the north central regions, this tree does not produce very many cones and in fact will reproduce primarily through layering. So beyond its medicinal value, it also has commercial value primarily as pulpwood but also sometimes for um, the poles for building corrals.